Hello and welcome to BK Live. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> it's a lovely day and we're glad to have our guest. Number one in them is that no one can deny that in terms of the culture's attitude towards gay and lesbian people, it's very different than things were in five or ten years ago. Mm -hmm. But for people who identify as transgender, as transgender, we still have a long way to go. Pat Dillinger, a transgender rapper. Lots to talk. talk about today. Thank you. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So it's a good day when all of you are around the table on any day, but it's especially great now because we're getting ready to celebrate uh, the International Trans Day of Remembrance. So <laughs> these uh, organizations are out there changing things legislatively and moving in the right direction to make sure we all get our rights. But I know I was at the latex ball, and That's there's a brick yeah. wall outside the community, mm -hmm. and you need people to go on iTunes. You yes. need everybody to buy your records. So yes. how, how are you dealing with that as a performer? It's, it's definitely a struggle. I still face struggles from day to day, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that I'm actually a mother of a house. I'm the mother of the house of Ebony. Okay. Um, so music-wise, it's still a struggle because people don't want to identify with a transgender coming out being a rapper in mm -hmm. hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? I think if I stayed in my community, which is the LGBT community, it would be a little bit more easier for me to elevate and climb up the ladder. Right. Um, I took the hard road and I said, you know, you know, me being up under Foxy Brown and, you know, a couple of others, I said, you know what, let me just, you know, just have my foot, feet step inside of hip hop and be right. daring. And then, and then you have people to ask you, what do you want to rap about? And I'm like, I'm a gangstress, like I'm a rapper. Like, you know, I come from back in the days with Special Ed, um, Cool Modi, uh, KRS-One, yeah. and you know, classic hip hop. Yeah. So there's no way that I'm trying to um, be something other than that. So that's what I want to rap about. Like, you know, Jada Kiss, Jay-Z, like, you know, I tip my hats to guys like that. Um, I call myself the transgendered Foxy Brown of hip hop. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, men find it hard. I think I think it, they find it hard because it's like by me looking um, so much as a woman, mm -hmm. it kind of questions their sexuality. What? So it's like when nobody wants to be to no, 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 nobody, no, no. Not saying that they are attracted to me, but nobody no, wants to be first. Okay. They, we don't, we don't know. Yeah, I can't, yeah. I can't simply right. say that yeah, people yeah, are attracted yeah. to me or whatever. Right. But I know that nobody wants to be first and say that I brought out the first transgender hip hop. But you artist. know, we. And I'm sorry to take us yeah. down this road, but <laughs> this is like the cultural thing. That like everyone, there's an idea about rights and all of this high level stuff, but people are talking at their dinner table about mm -hmm. rappers. And right. this is a way in for the community. We got Frank Ocean as like the hip hop gay guy who's neither hip hop or like he's not. Yeah. Everyone's like, who's the gay rapper? So right. you're kicking in the door culturally. Right. Yes, I am. And it's still, it's still difficult. I think that if I was um, a, gay, a regular gay male, it would have been That'd a be lot easier thing. because, right. you know, like even sometimes when I sit down at meetings, they're like, okay, well, we won't have to discuss your sexuality. We're not going to put this on the front line. And I'm like, no, we are going to put this on the front line. I do want to come out as a transgendered hip hop artist. And they're like, okay, that's when the phone calls stop. And you know what I mean? A lot of people don't want to have the meetings anymore. Yeah, would Foxy so Brown on. ever walk into a meeting and they say, well, let's not discuss your sexuality. <laughs> no. Let's go. Or no. any Lil Kim or Beyonce. Mm -hmm. So how yeah, is having so. a representation like BDOT of someone who's out there in the culture and telling these stories in a way that is like the poetry of our generation help the transgender cause? I think it's excellent. I mean, she's definitely breaking down barriers definitely. and breaking down those um, stigma. Yeah. You know um, that the trans community faces. Yeah. All right, be that. When you're sitting here with your Grammy next year, <laughs> what's going to be the end in 2014? <laughs> Basically, um, judgment and discrimination, and, and I think that's why I put myself on the front line so that we can bridge the gap as a whole. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody, everybody has somebody gay in their family whether they're lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, something is going on within the families that we overlook. So with me being an artist, like I'm, I'm putting myself on the front line for my whole community, the whole LGBT community. Right. It's not just about me, I'm not being selfish. Um, I'm saying, look, this is what it is, and we can musically come together mm -hmm. and make productive music that can sell. You know, like you said, Frank Ocean. Right. You know what I'm saying? There can be a B. J. Dillinger on somebody's shelf. Puff Daddy can sign someone such as myself. Like you have Akon that signed Jeffree Star, which right. is a transgendered um, Caucasian. 
You okay. understand what I'm saying? And yeah. gave him a million dollars. And it's, it's, it's amazing what they'll do outside of the black community. Mm -hmm. But when it's someone such as myself, African American, it's like, Mm -hmm. Now you're no. taking us down a whole other yeah. yeah. So yeah. we invite you all yeah. to come back. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Definitely, most definitely. And but thank you Chanel so much for having us. Uh, and B. Dot from our iPod. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for being here. We appreciate it.